reception, it's Miss Hush here. And yesterday, Mrs. Doherty read to you our new favourite fire story, How to Catch a Star by Oliver Jeffers. I'm going to read it again today, and I'm going to do some thinking out loud about what happens in the story. So I hope you're ready and I hope you're listening. Let's go. Once there was a boy, and the boy loved stars very much. Look, he's out at night time and he's looking at the stars. You can only see stars at night, can't you? I love going out at night to look at the stars. Every night, the boy watched the stars from his window and wished he had one of his very own. I don't know if he's going to be able to have a star of his very own, because stars aren't something you can go and get. You'd have to go in a rocket and fly all the way to space, and it's millions and millions and millions of miles away. I wonder if he's going to manage it by the end of the story. He dreamed how this star might be his friend. They would play hide and go seek and take long walks together. Look, I can see the boy hiding behind a tree over there and the star looking for him. That looks like so much fun. The boy decided he would try to catch a star. He thought that getting up early in the morning would be best because then the star would be tired from being up in the sky all night. Hmm, I think the boy might have a little bit of a problem. I think you can't actually see stars in the daytime because you can only see them at night time when it's dark and it's, the sun is too bright for you to see stars in the daytime. So I think you might be waiting a very long time. So the next day he set out at sunrise. But he could not see a star anywhere. He sat down and waited for one to appear. I was right, he is having to wait, isn't he? He waited and he waited and ate lunch. So he got up before sunrise and it's now lunchtime. So he must have got up before he even had his breakfast because he had to wait all the way to lunchtime. That's a really long time. But I think he's still going to have to keep on waiting because it's not anywhere near night time yet. And waited and after dinner he waited some more. Finally, just before the sun was about to go away, he saw a star. So look, the sun is just about to go away, so it's getting darker because the sun is going down. So that's when you can start to see all the stars again because it's getting darker. The boy tried to jump up and grab it, but he could not jump high enough. That's because even though we can see the stars in the sky, they're so far away, we could never touch them. So jumping up is not going to be enough for him to reach the star, is it? So very carefully, he climbed to the top of the tallest tree he could find. But the star was still way out of reach. I wonder what he's going to try and do next. Do you think he'll try and find something higher up than a tree? He thought he might lasso the star with the life belt from his father's boat. But again, I don't think a lasso is going to be long enough to actually catch a star that's all the way out in space. But it was much too heavy for him to carry, so he can't even throw this to try and catch a star because it's too heavy for him to even carry, so he'd have no chance of throwing it. He thought he could fly up in his spaceship and just grab the star. That's a better idea, isn't it? Because that's how astronauts fly into space. They have to go on a rocket. So he's starting to think a little bit more carefully about what he could do. But his spaceship had run out of petrol last Tuesday when he flew to the moon. Oh dear, I wonder where you get petrol for a space rocket. Goal to help him fly up into the sky to reach his star. A seagull? Seagulls are much smaller than humans, aren't they? I don't think that a seagull would be able to carry the boy up to the star, do you? But the only seagull he could find didn't want to help at all. 
the boy thought he would never catch a star. He looked so sad. That's all he wanted is to catch a star of his very own. I think the boy's quite lonely and he just wants a friend. Hmm, I wonder what's going to happen next. Just then, he noticed something floating in the water. It was the prettiest star he had ever seen. Just a baby star. It must have fallen from the sky. Do you think it has fallen from the sky? I don't think it has. I think it might be the reflection from the star in the sky on the water. And the water's acting a little bit like a mirror. He tried to fish the star out with his hand, but he couldn't reach it. Then he had an idea. The star might wash up on the shore. He ran back along to the jetty on the beach. Then he, wait, then he waited and walked and watched and waited. Oh, he's doing a lot more waiting. He has been so patient waiting for this star, hasn't he? And like I said, I don't think it's going to make its way to the shore because I don't think it's a real star from the sea. I think it's a reflection. And sure enough, the star washed up on the bright golden sand. Am I wrong? A star has washed up. Do you think it was a star in the sky or do you think it's a different type of star? I'm thinking about stars I know that end up on the beach. Stars like starfish, maybe. The boy had caught a star, a star of his very own. And look how happy he is at the end, doing all the things that he wanted to do with the star.